Hi, I'm Tack. Welcome to Knack Tack 910. Percentage exercises. Now that we've understood the basics of percentages, we shall solve some questions related to this. Tell me if the following percentages are integers or mixed number of fractions. First is negative 400%, then 1610%. Sure, Nack, negative 400% means negative 400 by 100, and that's negative 4, which is nothing but an integer. 1610% means 1610 by 100, and that's simplified as 161 by 10. Now, this is a mixed number. Let's solve some examples together. 45% of 120. Sure, let me solve this one. 45% of 120. 45% can be written as 45 by 100. And we learned of means multiplication. So 45% of 120 can be written as 45 by 100 times 120. 45 times 120 gives us 5,400. Divided by 100 is 54. Next, let's solve 5% of 380. 5% of 380 can be written as 5 by 100 times 380, which is 1,900 by 100, which gives us 19. So, 5% of 380 equals 19. Next, let's solve 0% of 1,329. 0% 0 of 1,329 can be written as 0 by 100 times 1,329, which is nothing but 0. Lastly, solve 3 by 5% of 1,000. 3 by 5% of 1,000. 3 by 5% can be written as 3 by 5 by 100, which is nothing but 3 by 500. 3 by 500 times 1,000 gives us 3,000 by 500, which is 6. Good job. Now, let's move on to another concept in percentages. Convert a number into percent. Solve negative 3 and 5 by 8, and then solve 0 0.537. If we want to convert number into percentages, all we do is simply multiply the number by 100. Let's take the first one, negative 3 and 5 by 8. This can be converted into an improper fraction. 8 times 3 is 24, and 24 plus 5 is 29. That's negative 29 by 8. Now, let's multiply this fraction by 100. Let's try the next problem. 0 0.537, 0 0.537 times 100%. Multiplying a decimal number by 100 moves the decimal point to the right by two digits. So, 0 0.537 times 100% gives us 53.7%. Very good, Tack. Let's solve a few more percentage problems, but framed a little different. Do you want to try solving these, please? What percent of 1 by 3 is 6? What percent? Let's say the unknown number is something like x percent. Of means multiplication. 1 by 3 is 6. Now let's rearrange them to get the value of x. x percent is x by 100 times 1 by 3 equals 6. x by 300 equals 6. x equals 6 times 300. x equals 1,800%. Now let's move to the next one. What percent is 2 thirds of 5 by 6? Let's write the unknown value in terms of x percent. x percent of 5 by 6 equals 2 by 3. x divided by 100 times 5 by 6 equals 2 by 3. x equals 2 times 6 times 100 divided by 3 times 5. x equals 400 by 5, which equals 80 percent. Tack, did you notice the difference between these two problems we just solved? What percent of one third is six? And then, what percent is two by three or five by six? 
In the first problem, we wrote the expression as unknown number percentage multiplied with the number one third to get the value of six. In the second problem, we wrote the expression as unknown number percentage multiplied with the number five by six to get two by three. Always pay attention to the details in the question carefully to get the answer right. Let's solve a few more problems for practice. What percent is six of negative 30? It's the same thing. X percent of negative 30 is six, which can be written as X percent of negative 30 equals six. X divided by 100 times negative 30 equals six. Finally, X equals negative six times 100 divided by 30, which is nothing but negative 600 divided by 30, which is negative 20%. Knack. Let me try the next one. 21 is 10% of what number? This can be written as 21 equals 10% of x, right? Correct, Tack. 10% of x can be written as 10 by 100 times x. So, 10 by 100 times x equals 21. So, by rearranging, we get the x value as 2,100 by 10, which is 210. Now, let's move to the next question. 4 is negative 50% of what number? Let's write this as 4 equals negative 50% of y. Negative 50 divided by 100 times y equals 4. Finally, y equals negative 400 divided by 50, which equals negative 8. And now the last one. One fifth is three by two percent of what number? This can be written as three by two percent of x equals one by five. Three by two percent is three divided by two hundred. Three divided by two hundred of x equals one by five. Finally, x equals two hundred divided by fifteen, which can be simplified to forty divided by three. Now let's write this as mixed number thirteen and one by three. Knack. Now tell me, which number is greater, 7 by 9 or 180, or 75% of 200? Tack, let's solve both of them and then compare them. Let's take 7 by 9 of 180. 7 times 180 gives us 1,260. 1,260 divided by 9 gives us 140. Now, let's take 75% of 200. 75% can be written as 75 divided by 100. 75 divided by 100 times 200 gives us 15,000. 15,000 divided by 100 gives us 150. So, 150 is greater than 140. So, 75% of 200 will be greater. Nack, I have understood the concept. Can you help me do the sum of 60% of 75 and 75% of 60? Sure, Tack. Let's find 60% of 75. 60% of 75 will be 60 divided by 100 times 75, which is 4,500 divided by 100, which is nothing but 45. Now, let's find 75% of 60. Now let's finally add 45 plus 45, which is 90. Thank you very much, Nack. I'll do more practice and remember the concept very well. Math is easy and fun when you know your concepts with just a little practice.